Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. I'm Manuela Marcajani from Eisenberg Skincare. I'm a cosmetic chemist and skincare specialist and scientist. And today we're gonna talk about uh, how to reduce wrinkles or how to prevent wrinkles or dealing with wrinkles. Wrinkles, 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 right? Okay, so what is a wrinkle? A wrinkle actually technically is an absence of collagen. So what's collagen? Collagen is your skin. Collagen is the most abundant protein of your skin, right? So when you have skin, when you're on your skin and you notice that your skin is very uniform, very line free, you don't have any wrinkles, that's because just like fabric, okay, you have your threading that going and it's creating this perfect, perfect canvas. When you start pulling threads away, okay, you'll notice a hole in your fabric. When you start pulling threads away, when those threads go away, that in essence is what a wrinkle is. It's like the thread of the collagen, which is like very tubular. It's gone, it's absent. It either has, see, so there's, you know, collagen is like spaghetti, for example, right? And it, it's bundled, it's like gooey spaghetti with gluten. So it's bundled collagen. These things are columns and they hold up the structure of the skin. What happens as they age, they denature. So they kind of like us, you know, we're not so straight, we're not so robust. We kind of shrink a little bit, get a little bit, you know, bent over. So the collagen denatures and it starts creating space. That space is a wrinkle. So what can we do about wrinkles or how do we prevent wrinkles? Knowing that the formation of wrinkle is an absence of collagen, logic will then say do things that protect your collagen and create more collagen so that's what we're really going to talk about right now so protect your collagen how do you protect your collagen you protect your collagen from uv that's the first first thing is the sun the uv why because the sun rays the uv rays basically chew up literally will take collagen chew it up digest it that's how it breaks it down we don't want to do that so you protect your your skin against and your collagen against the sun the uv damage also oxidative stress so that is free radical damage as well so that again starts to dry the skin out dry dry the collagen out break it down these unpaired electrons attach themselves to proteins so things to do to protect your skin from wrinkles sunscreen okay it's one that's protective antioxidants is another protective so that's protection now creation what can we do to create collagen one is have a healthy diet okay so internally have a really good diet uh, try to eat I, i'm a real big huge believer in keeping it simple i think you eat in season eat fresh and in season lots of green leafy vegetables fruits and vegetables like color your plate it's like old school i think that's the building blocks and the foundation so eat you know and try to stay away from processed foods because uh, the more processed the more artificial your food that's more of that chemical in your body that's more free radicals and breakdown and inflammation and all of that because inflammation like a free radical attacks your collagen attacks the proteins and the connective tissue so there is a linkage you know when they say you are what you eat you're going to sometimes look like what you eat too or the quality of what you're eating so think about that the other thing is utilizing ingredients like retinoids very good ingredient for creating collagen so the retinoid the retinoic acid the retinaldehyde all of those in formulations what retinols do or retinoids do is they help build and create collagen so that's really important right so start implementing that as a daily part of your skincare i like to say nighttime and i like to say low dose with the retinoids so this is not about a acne element for the retinoids this is more about the aging the anti-aging the anti-wrinkle skin quality that's really important okay keep your skin hydrated so hyaluronate so that's really good to bring moisture into the skin and seal it in with a good fat, a good lipid uh, for your skin, like a ceramide. That's gonna also help reduce uh, wrinkles, the look of wrinkles, and also will keep that skin nice and smooth. Another thing that is, now, people are divided 
I'm a big believer in it, but people are divided on peptides and collagen. I like micronized collagen peptides, use them all the time in formulation. Um, the reason is collagen is a very large molecule. So when you have a wrinkle and you have this absence of collagen, you're thinking, well, you know, why don't we just, you know, put collagen in a skin cream, put it on your skin and replace what's, what's missing. Makes sense, right? Problem. Collagen, huge molecule. So you're going to bring this huge balloon of a molecule onto your skin and your skin is like, I can't, it can't come in. It doesn't work for me. So what scientists did is they took this large molecule, they broke it down, they unwound it. All right. And they started using fragments of this molecule. And what they did is these fragments are now called peptides or messenger peptides and they're pieces of collagen. Now the funny thing about the skin, skin has receptors. The skin is the largest organ of the body. It is alive. It interacts. It has feelings. It has receptors. It communicates. It receives things. There's a lot of activity at certain levels that, you know, we know of and other levels scientifically that we don't know of. I mean, it's wonderful what we learn every single day in science. Like truly, it's like exponential. It's mind blowing. Some of the things that we can uncover slowly and then rapidly because that's how learning happens, right? But Okay, so let's get back to the peptide. So this is a fragment of procollagen type one or a fragment of collagen because they've unwound this large molecule. Now, what scientists discovered, and I love this research, is that this fragment, this piece of collagen, when you put it onto your skin, your skin sees it as a piece of collagen and it relates it to a wound. Why? I'll tell you why. Because when you cut your skin, you basically cut your skin, you separate it, right? So you create a wound. So you have broken or interrupted a collagen bond. So when the skin sees a wound, it, it gets that message. So it's not about the pain, it's about the structure, right? That there's a broken piece of collagen. When you're giving your skin a peptide, a collagen peptide, you're literally giving it a, what it thinks is a wound. So what happens? the skin goes into survival mechanism, right? It goes into survival mode. It wants to survive. So it starts to push at that, remember, lower level, it starts to push fibroblasts, uh, reticulin, other elements in here, and all of these things start coming up to the surface and they're gonna create more collagen to heal what is missing, this wound, or what the, what the presented problem is, which is the wound. This is why I believe also in one of the things when you're treating wrinkles, to use messenger peptides, to use these collagen peptides, because I do believe they are beneficial. I believe that nothing is a miracle. Nothing works overnight. I do believe consistency. I'm living proof of repairing the skin, repairing the collagen, and working with the right ingredients. Other things that are really important for collagen formation and creation, vitamin C is a cofactor in creating the collagen. Copper peptides is another amazing ingredient for collagen. We utilize all of these things at Isomer Skincare. So in the laboratory, I've had the honor, the pleasure, the experience of working with, you know, collagen peptides, with copper peptides, with other type of ingredients, with retinoids, of course, as well, and sunscreens and all of these things that we're talking about. So I've been able to see in the laboratory how these ingredients work on collagen and what they do. I've also been able to, so that's like what we call that in vitro. So that is not on real skin, but it's on pseudo skin. So we, uh, we can actually do that and test how an ingredient works or the theory behind it. Then we go in vivo. So we start using it on people and we start to see those results as well. And so we can come up with these conclusions and this information. What I do know is that the more consistent you are over time, so have a routine, have a plan, be consistent, show up with these ingredients. If they're formulated, if the products are formulated well, with the right active in the right level, and you don't have to have a lot of the ingredient, it's more the consistency. So a little bit of a microdose every day is more important. So if wrinkles are your issue and you wanna target wrinkles, there's things that you can do to protect your skin from wrinkles. There are things that you can do that will help create more collagen to fill in those wrinkles. 
There are other things that are non-skincare related. You can get the, you can use fillers to fill in the wrinkles. Um, you can use Botox to freeze the muscle to stop the expression line for the, where those wrinkles um, actually form. And that's really interesting too, because when you use something like a botulism toxin, it will freeze your muscle. Um, and then what happens is that rest, the skin is no longer tired, that collagen is no longer tired, for example, it's not, it's a repeated facial movement. That, the, the fact that you paralyze the muscle, you're forcing that to take a, that piece of skin to take a rest, then it can go into repair and build more collagen, so it's less wear and tear. So the Botox itself is not creating the collagen, it's the rest phase that's creating it. And when you're filling in with a hyaluronate or whatever, you're not replacing collagen, you're just filling the space with a, um, moisture magnet so it's going to swell up with the moisture and that's why you actually have to keep using these things over time because they're not cures or fixes they're just measures to use to minimize the looks so there's a lot of different things you can do to reduce the look of wrinkles there's a couple of things you can do to prevent and to build more collagen I hope you enjoyed the conversation on uh, wrinkles I look forward to your questions and comments and thank you so much for tuning in. Look forward to talking to you real soon.